hi or welcome to my channel Flavia Grobler. If it's your first time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Anyway, today I have never in my life done a video at this time. Like it's very late here, it's around nine. But why I'm doing this video, I'll tell you the reason. It's because I have a school in Uganda, like I got sponsors here in Germany, like they sponsor our school back home. So other new people are going there and they asked me that which things can they carry and I was like why am I going to call and talk everything why don't I make a video in English and I just send it to them and they watch the video and maybe you never know maybe they're out there is someone who wants to go to Africa or maybe to my country uganda and maybe he will also see these things like he will check the things he need to carry to go to africa here are the things you need to pack when you're going to uganda let me just tell you a little bit about uganda uganda is a pearl of africa uganda is a land of beautiful things like we have animals we have we have nice nature we have what can i tell you about uganda and uganda is a home of honey and the people are very friendly and the people they have that nice body they have the best heart so today i'm going to explain the things you need to carry like the things you need to pack when you're going to uganda you need quick dry clothes like those clothes which you can wash and they dry immediately uganda is very warm and uh, even if it's rainy season it's um not very very cold like how it is here in germany by the way i stay here in germany so here in germany it's very when it's really cold it's really cold but in uganda even if it's rainy still it's very still it's very warm so when you're going to uganda don't carry winter clothes carry these soft clothes which you can wash and dry immediately don't forget your first kit aid just in case you fall down just in case you get a, a problem you know that you can save yourself because in uganda hospitals are not near you have to drive a little bit far or it depends where exactly you are but it's good you carry your own first aid uh kit uh to save yourself and don't forget to carry your yellow fever cut like where to show where it shows that you you have already done the fever thing so make copies of your important documents let's say your passport your vaccination and uh what else like I did like let's say like everywhere you reach you don't have to remove your original copies you can just remove the photocopied uh, like those copy copy of your passport and vaccination so that you don't have to remove and another thing uh, Uganda we also have thieves like it's everywhere like where people pickpocket so at least if they try to steal you they don't steal your important documents they steal the, the photocopies and another one don't forget to change your money as soon as you reach in Uganda you can just go at the airport you exchange your money like let's say euro you translate it from euro to uganda money and i'm telling you if you change one euro it's that it's like 400 uganda uganda money so german money like euro has a high va value than uganda money like uganda money is a little bit down and the euro is very high so don't forget to change your money as soon as you reach in uganda don't forget to take your 
tablets go to your doctor they will give you like one or tablets i don't know you just go to your doctor talk to them and carry all your tablets which they will give you to swallow every day don't forget your mosquito spray i know in uganda you can also find their mosquito sprays but why not carry yours from wherever you are and you you go with it to Uganda because we have mosquitoes which will bite you all the time even at night they will be singing for you looking for your bra for your blood to bite you so don't forget to take your mosquito spray so that every night you spray your your body and everything and don't forget also to sleep under the mosquito net if you when you reach in Uganda you will find these mosquito nets which they put on your bed you just put aside i don't know how i can say it like you have to put the mosquito net on don't sleep without your mosquito net and camera with extra batteries don't forget more batteries when you take your camera because uganda is very beautiful we have many things which you would like to take pictures of let's say like maybe animals even people you will see how people are walking carrying baskets on the head uh, carrying babies on the back and um what else uh um, motorcycles where three people are sitting on that mos motorcycle where people are making jokes i'm sure i'm sure sure when you go to uganda you will see a difference like you will see those things that you have never seen so better take your camera with extra bat batteries and at night don't forget to charge your batteries for the next day don't forget to take your torch i'm telling you the truth whenever you're packing your things take a torch because in uganda we don't have like electricity which will stay on for the whole day like in Uganda, we don't have that electricity which will stay on for the whole day, for the whole night, for, I don't know. So maybe at night, you would like to use the torch. Like, don't forget to take these simple jackets because sometimes when you go to mountain climbing or let's say like going to track uh, gorillas, you have to wear like um, a jacket because it's, most of the time raining so take a simple jacket don't forget to take nice shoes let's say like these canvas shoes in case it rains a lot or when you want to walk for a long distance you have to wear these nice shoes which are very well covered you want to go for gorilla tracking you have to wear these nice shoes so take your covered nice shoes which are very comfortable where you will walk for a long long time without your feet hurting what else did i forget if i forgot something please comment down below and tell me say Flavia you forgot this and this but otherwise if you're going to Uganda I wish you all the best enjoy Uganda don't forget to test our local food don't forget to to greet and what else can I tell you enjoy Uganda Uganda is beautiful I wish you all the best bye